And if you had a bus ticket, it better be saying San Francisco, because that was the place to come. I think a lot of us came out here because we didn't quite fit where we were. I like the people here. They just seem more open. And I always wanted to meet a nice blonde surfer. If you took a bunch of young men and said, have as much sex as you can have, how much sex would they have? A lot of sex. All of America was feeling very confident that you could be much more sexual, and that was OK. Eighty-one was a big year. That is when everything changed. I remember looking in the window of Star Pharmacy, and there were these little Polaroid photographs. Watch out, guys, there's something out there. The first time I heard about AIDS, I think it was called the gay cancer. We had friends who were dying right at the beginning of the epidemic. I was hanging blood one day in the hospital and the infectious disease fellow came in and said, Eileen, why don't you put gloves on? We don't know what this is. How are you getting it? Who are you getting it from? Who's giving it to who? Everybody was reading the obituaries because they went from like this to like this. Our principal response was food banks and care programs and it was a response that America should be proud of. It changed people's view of the gay community in a huge way. Again and again, in every situation, there's lesbians there leading the fight. None of my friends are around from the beginning, so I want to tell their story as much as I want to tell my story. 